Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am in Barcelona. Really excited guys to start this one. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna show you the must eat dishes if you are visiting this city. There's a ton of amazing Catalan and Spanish food here. In this video, I'm gonna show it all off to you guys. So if you're visiting, you know exactly what to eat. First stop is gonna be a really good one. So I'm gonna cut this intro short because I wanna head off and I wanna start eating. So let's go. So first spot, I'm really excited to show you is something which is quite uh, popular here is to have churros and like a really thick, creamy, hot chocolate. That's really popular. We're going to pop into a place now called Chocolate Box. I've got my mask ready, going to pop that on, but we're going to go inside and I'll show you those churros and hot chocolate. Okay, so what we're starting with are these churros or melindros as they're called here. If I'm butchering everything, I am very, very sorry to all the Spaniards out there. Um, <laughs> but uh, we've got a hot chocolate as well. When you see it's on the menu, if it says Swiss, it means that it's got some Swiss cream on the top there too. This is like a dark, rich hot chocolate. We're gonna go straight for it actually, guys. We're gonna dunk this into there, why not? It's hitting the spot, it's hitting the spot. Right, let's try some of this cream. absolutely delicious this is an amazing start to the food tour some deep rich hot chocolate lovely oily churros sprinkled with some sugar look at that guy absolutely indulgent to the max they also do have a really good variety of ice creams here they've got pastries and all that kind of stuff too looks really really good i'll wait to show off the churros and the hot chocolate but what we're going to do now guys is head off to our second place because i fancy some savory food Next restaurant we're going to show you guys is this, the Catalonia restaurant. I'm hearing some great stuff on some traditional Barcelona style food. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out, hoping for some great food. So we are inside, we're having a look at the menu guys. I've got a ton of traditional food that you'll find here in the city. They have uh, paellas, they're not actually a Catalan dish. However, really, really popular in Barcelona. So if you come in here, I think you need to try it. We're gonna go for chicken purely because cameraman doesn't want seafood. You should go for seafood, that's what you should have. But uh, cameraman Taz, Taz? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> yeah, he wants chicken, so we're gonna go for chicken. Oh, lovely job, thank you. Yes, yeah. Some patatas bravas, oh, and the chicken paella. Thank you so much. Paella is here and it looks amazing. I mean, this looks awesome. What we're gonna do is get this lemon here, just gonna give it a little bit of a squeeze. One thing to quickly note is that everywhere does patatas bravas. However, what you want is a proper rich tomato sauce. If they come with like mayo on top, that's not the way that you want them. So I'm probably not gonna highlight those. They're everywhere in the city, find them. You want a proper rich tomato sauce on top, but the paella looks amazing. We are gonna try this. So they cook this paella fresh. It takes about 20 minutes here. So you know that you're cooking it properly. It comes in this big dish, which is really, really awesome. It smells really fragrant, really delicious. Oh, it's got a beautiful, rich flavor to the paella. Lots of chicken in there too. I think cameraman is gonna love this. I love this. We're gonna eat this. I'm gonna finish the potatoes bravas, but they're... Um, so I'm about 20% full. Definitely got more room for food. So what we're gonna do now is go to that market I mentioned earlier. This one is an absolute must visit if you're coming to Barcelona. Guys, there's lots of fresh seafood, fresh cuts of meat, there's juices, there's a really good falafel place, there's a ton of food here. What we're gonna do now is show you shots of the stuff and then I'm gonna eat it. So yeah, lots of fresh meat, fresh fish, lots of fresh fruit. I think the hot food is actually on the outer or perimeter of the market. So we're gonna go there in a second, but I'm enjoying just exploring. There's like 
sweeties over there. There's like fruit behind a cameraman. There's like ice cream down here. There's lots to look at, but uh, I do fancy some hot food. So the actual one place that I wanted to go to is open. Lots of places are closed today. Not sure why, maybe I'll come back tomorrow, but I want to try the falafel and it's actually open. It's the only thing they have on the menu. It's supposed to be really good. We're gonna try it. I'm very excited to try this. Lovely jubbly. There's a bit of spice going in there, guys. You're gonna have spicy or non? I'm obviously gonna have spicy. Let's keep it real, man. And then some fresh falafel being put in there. It's literally just come out of the fryer, so I want something hot and flavorful. Uh, can I have, do you know what? Just a little bit of lettuce and that's that's great for me. That's perfect. Just like that. Oh, some eggplant. Yes, please. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh, one for good luck. Two for good luck. Three for good luck. Thank you. That's enough, thank you. Lovely. Oh, she's giving us a cute little cone as well. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. Right, guys, we're gonna find a quiet little corner. But oh, look at that. Look at that. There's so much falafel in there. I think she might have put a couple of extra because she saw the camera. I don't know, maybe this is a normal portion. You guys tell me. Oh. Oh, fresh, herby, crunchy, a bit fatty because it's fried. If you fry anything, it becomes better. It's the first thing I've had here. We're gonna get some juice in a second. But that is a beautiful, tasty falafel. I'm on a hype to get more food. This is gonna go down well. Right, I'm getting a cheese rocket and tomato empanada warmed up. Doesn't look like a regular empanada, but it looks a bit fluffier, but uh, looks good. It's two euros, so hopefully it's nice. Okay, thank you. Trying to find a semi-quiet place because it's really busy here, but this is like very warm. It's like a bread roll. It's not really like an empanada in, in any way. Not bad. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna eat this with cameraman, and we're gonna get some fresh <laughs> juice. There's quite a lot of different flavors. A lot to pick from, papaya, coconut, watermelon, raspberry, banana, blackberry, coconut. I'm just gonna... Um, mango, passion, cameraman, what are you saying? Uh, uh, mango, pineapple. Mango, pineapple seems like a good flavor. That's oh, a good pineapple choice. pineapple and strawberry, actually. Ooh, that's a bit different. That's a bit different, isn't it? Or mango and strawberry. Oh, are they, they keep getting better and better. Keep going, they keep getting better, so. Okay. I vote pineapple and strawberry or mango and strawberry. Mango and strawberry. Done. Two euros. I think we're going to try the mango strawberry and then we're going to head off to a restaurant that apparently do a really nice tapas. All right, let's give this a go then. I've never had that flavor combination. I don't know what's going on in my mouth, but I like it. It's fresh. There's definitely some, a strong amount of mango in there and a little bit of strawberry too. I think I'll have this and tomorrow I think I'll have a different flavor because they have so many. What we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna head off for some hot food. I fancy some hot Spanish food. Let's go. I'm coming too. <laughs> so, one thing I really wanted to try when I came here is like a legit empanada. These are really popular in Barcelona, really, really popular, and I love an empanada. We're gonna go inside. Here, this place does chicken, it does beef. Can it? Let's go inside, let's grab one. This is the one we're going for. Just one, please, it's more than enough. Yeah, just one, thank you. Something else? Uh, no, just this is great, thank you. Looks like we're getting it warmed up, guys. I would have had it cold, if I'm being honest, but warmed up would be even better. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Let's go outside, let's get some natural light and eat this. Thank you so much. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try this, it's really hot, so, oh. Oh, it looks nice on the inside. Look, it's really meaty. We've got some peppers there. 
That looks really, really good. I like the actual uh, pastry around it as well. This, this looks good. It smells good. Some smoky beef, some peppers in there. Lovely pastry, so everything I hoped it would be. This was 220, bargain. Okay, so next Bob, I wanna show you, isn't a traditional Spanish or Catalan dish, so you probably won't expect it being in a video like this. However, when I came in last time to Barcelona, I loved eating what I'm about to show you. In fact, it's right there. Choc the chocolate oh, kitchen. Hi. I absolutely love the cronut, which is a croissant donut. And in a video like this, I, I just, I need people to know about it. So we could go inside, I'm gonna grab it, and I'll come straight back out. Oh, it's lovely service now. I was having a laugh with the girl because I said I went there three years ago. I'll see you again in, in three years. Oh yeah, but um, that was funnier in my head. I wish I could show you some of the cool stuff in there, but my camera skills are not on point today. But this is a cronut. So it's basically a donut shaped, well, no, 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 no. It's a croissant shaped like a donut. There's tons of flavors in there. I went for solid caramel, why not? I love a bit of solid caramel. Let's give it a go. Also, they're all gluten free. My mouth is not big enough for this, hold on. Let me detach my jaw like a snake. My mouth was not big enough for that. It's so unique, it's so different. Not many places do stuff like this. I love this. I could eat this every day of the week. Let's now crack on with some more, I don't know, traditional barcelona -y type foods. Okay, so that Corona definitely satisfied the sweet craving I had. I think what we're gonna do now, guys, is have some savory food. And I've saved a really, really good one until the end. So let's get to it. So a final spot, cameraman Taz, who's the directions man today, is gonna to take us to, is actually in these little lanes. I, I love these little lanes, can I just say, they are jam packed full of restaurants, places to shop, things to do. I love them, I absolutely love them. So it's just around the corner, I think from here. And uh, yeah, this one apparently is very, very good. If it's good, it's gonna make the video. If it's not good, you know, cut a room floor, let's keep it real. Uh, hopefully it's nice. I, th I think it is. We actually, guys, we came here last night and it was so busy. We were silly. We did make a reservation. So if it's good and you like it, do make a reservation. Pressure is on. YouTube is watching Taz because he's directing. If he fluffs this, guys, then I don't know what to tell you. Oh, here we go. He did it. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've sat inside. I've had a look at the menu. They've got some good stuff here. Uh, some really, really good stuff. I think we're going to get a few different bits and bobs. I think we're going to end the video on a really, really good place. Hopefully it's tasty. Some really fancy sounding tapas on here. So I'm going to place my order and hopefully I'm going to show you guys some awesome, awesome Spanish tapas in the heart of Barcelona. Food has been ordered. Something to note actually, really nice in here. It's got like a really traditional sort of Spanish feel to it. I love like the walls have got like a rustic feel to them. I love the seating, it's quite spacious in here. It's very busy at night time, so please do book your table. They've got like a, a piece of like really, really thick glass and like a big like hole in the floor so you can look through it, which looks pretty cool as well. Overall, really good impressions, but uh, it's all about the food as you guys know. That'll be coming out any second. So tapas is here. Typically tapas comes as and when it's ready. So we've got two of the tapas here. This is a croquette ball. So this is made, this particular one, has aubergine and pepper inside it. Let's have a little look. Crunchy exterior, super soft interior. Peppers coming through, aubergine coming through right up my street. Moving on now to these, uh, they call them kibbe on the menu. In fact, let me refer to, I'm not seeing kibbe like this before, so. Mm, sauce is spicy. The other oh. one is a vegan mayonnaise. Oh, Ooh. lovely. Yeah. Thank you. This is cool. So, guys, so these are called kibbe spiced meatballs with uh, padrone peppers. The thing about padrone peppers is apparently some of them are spicy, some are not, according to the waitress. So we don't know what's what. Okay, so the patatas bravas have actually come out. So if you're coming to uh, Barcelona, you must try those and they look good here as well. So move on to them in a second. But this spicy kibbe meatballs, oh, they look incredibly meaty as the name would suggest. They're pretty tasty. They're quite subtle in seasoning. I think they'd go well, actually, 
with some patatas bravas. I wouldn't eat them on their own, but a tapas dish, of course, you wouldn't eat on its own anyway. Let's try one of these peppers. Apparently, some are spicy, some are not. If it's spicy, then just um, RIP, right? That's quite sweet. That's quite sweet. That's quite nice. Camera man says take a bite from each one, but I don't want to die on camera, so I'm going to leave it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try the patatas bravas. What you want to do is get these to come into Spain because they're delicious. They're everywhere, kind of a staple really. So instead of seeing fries everywhere, you're probably going to see them. I'm going to dip it into this sort of spicy ketchup with, they've got some vegan mayo on the side. Let's give that a go. But really good, really good accompaniment to some of this food. You want something that's sort of potatoey? I think that's a really good accompaniment to this meal. What I'm gonna do is go onto the tagine. It's looking at me. I'm interested to try it, guys, because I've never seen a tagine like this before in my life, in that usually they're not necessarily dry, but like there isn't as much liquid as you're gonna see on this tagine. So if I bring it over here, guys, try not to spill it, because yeah, lots and lots of liquid going on. They give you a spoon. It's definitely quite soupy. There's some carrots in there, there's lots of meat. I think there may be some nuts in there too. I'm gonna try the chicken with a little bit of soup. I'm gonna treat it honestly like a stew, because uh, that's kind of how it's presented, if I'm being honest with you. And they actually give some bread as well. You can dip that in there too. If I don't think of it as a tagine, I think of it as a soup or a stew, it's absolutely delicious. That's a little bit of a surprise. The soup is like very flavorful. Chicken is very soft. That is really good. I think, and with family, I think the table are gonna like that. That's really good. Yeah. Moving on now to some cod bites. These look really chunky, really moist. We've got an aioli on top with a little bit of hazelnut crumb. I think the aioli is sun-dried tomato. I think some parsley going on there as well. Hot, fresh, really tasty. I love the aioli. It's quite creamy. Goes well with the flavor of the fish. Get that one, guys. If you're a fish fan, make sure to try that. So I'm gonna finish this food, guys. I'm gonna take you outside for some final thoughts on Barcelona. Guys, so yeah, really enjoyed the video. I'm just uh, outside now, and I think you just about see cameraman on his phone there behind me as well. Love that place. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope I've given you guys some really good suggestions on the type of things to eat and where to eat as well, if you're visiting Barcelona. Overall, loved my time here. I think there's a good amount of halal options to keep you busy for a few days, for sure. Lots of veggie food, lots of seafood, and some halal meat options, which I've showed you in this video too. What I'm gonna do next, guys, is actually film a video in Barcelona, which is gonna be, of course, all halal food, but I'm gonna focus on sort of international cuisine, because sometimes you go abroad and you want a pizza or a kebab or a burger or I don't know, some fancy donuts or something like that, right? It might not be traditional or authentic, but you just have a craving. So the next video is gonna be all about that. If you wanna see that, you know what to do. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video as well, guys, while you're at it. But I'm gonna see you all in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.